Today we are gonna try turning this cabin in this foggy weather to something more contrasty using the free apps Snapseed and Lightroom. Opening the image in Snapseed, first thing I'm gonna decrease the highlights a bit for some details in the sky. Also decreasing the shadows to make the darker parts more darker. Next with the curves tool, I'm gonna try applying some contrast. Hot contrast preset is more suitable for the look I'm going. Now for some selective tuning with the selective filters. First one on these greens where I'm gonna make all the vegetation in the foreground more desaturated. One here on this cabin. adding some saturation more brightness and contrast copying the same and applying on other parts of the cabin Little contrast around these trees in the sky too. Using the curves tool, I'm gonna first darken the image by dragging the top point a bit down. Then with masking, tapping on the stacks icon, view edits, the latest curves filter and brush. Here with the effect revealed and with the brush value set at zero, removing the dark effect on the cabin and around to give it more limelight. applying this. Next I'm gonna try to get little more details from the sky by selecting hot contrast preset in curves. And applying it on the sky with masking. In the details menu adding some structure to the image. Applying the effect on the cabin with masking. To give 
the image more pop and color exporting the image to the Lightroom app. After importing to Lightroom, first thing in the light menu, increasing the white to make the brightest parts more bright. Also reducing the value of the blacks. This gives the image more punch. Moving to the HSL sliders in the color menu mix. Moving the green hues just a little towards aqua. Then desaturating the same. Now to the yellows. Dragging the slider towards orange to give the yellows some orange tint. Looks too saturated so reducing it a bit. but increasing the overall vibrance. Moving to the effects menu, adding a bit of clarity to the overall image. Now to the detail menu. First moving the masking slider with two fingers to get some selection here. The sharpening effect applies only on these white parts. Now adding sharpening. Going now to curves in the light menu. Applying some contrast here by darkening the shadows. Brightening the highlights. If you want a faded look, just drag the low point a bit up. So here's the final look. Thanks for watching.